combining culture and tradition today at Raleigh's Dix Park. The city hosted the state's largest intertribal powwow, bringing North Carolina's Native American tribes together for the third year. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis learns how the celebration creates a bond for those taking part in it. From the elaborate art and beadwork to the song and beating drum. Troy Roberts says North Carolina's eight Native American tribes are coming together, a gathering of tradition and living history. I think I think people are realizing that we are still here. Like they're realizing the resilience of Native people. You can see the bright colors and the beadwork. You see incorporate modern day pop culture. I think people are coming here realizing that the the history that we carry with us is evolving with us. Roberts, a member of the Dix Park Conservancy and Hallowasa Pony Tribe, says the intertribal powwow has become a celebration for thousands at Dix. Park at Raleigh, launching after a land blessing here three years ago. Robert says the park's indigenous heritage goes back thousands of years. We're working with the city of the city of Raleigh's lead in a culture interpretation plan where we are basically asking the public, working with consultants to ask the public, how do we tell this history in the park and the future of the park? How do we permanently teach people the things that happen here and use it as a cultural, create Dix Park as a cultural touchstone. For Sonora Lynch, the event is an opportunity to display her pottery and share her talents with others. I always say it gave me the way to speak through the clay, like to come out and educate people about our tribe, our culture, our history. Lynch says she's not just sharing her work, but awareness too. In our culture, we have um, uh, many nations, many tribes, many people from um, Lumbee, Halawa, Tuscaroras, Tudelo people, we have the Kaharis, we have Sioux people from South Dakota. No matter where you travel in life, you always find a Native community to come back to. And organizers say they hope events like this can continue to build relationships and bring support for Indigenous people in the community and in the government.